goings ons. Uh, but here is creep number one. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Saturday morning, baby. And guess what? There's nothing left to have. Hey. Once again, we got the honor to become friends. That pancake's cold as fuck, man. He removed that from the heat source fucking 30 <laughs> seconds ago. And then we can become lovers. No more hiding. Yeah. Everything gonna be out in the opening, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all over. Let's bring everything what we did in the dollar and just bring it to the light. So, yeah, who do you think's uh, recording this? You think yeah. it's the woman he's talking to? You think? No, it has to be a grandkid. Definitely a grandkid, yeah. That woman is long gone, I think. Long gone. He, he's, he's looking. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he's actively he's searching. So, if you guys are interested. That's the thing. Think. Sometimes, I definitely, I've seen some. He uh, has a wet mouth. You can, you can tell. You, you can hear it. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Nephew, come here. Hold the camera for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies. So, look, I'm going to get up in that puss. All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's no more hide. hide. There's no, no reason to hide. No reason to hide. I haven't seen you for what a long time. What do you time. mean? Who's hiding from you? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he has more than a few. Uh, nice distress Carhartt jacket, pretty boy. Get yourself Ooh. a real man's winter garment. Cloak time, baby. If you ain't cloaking, you're broken. You ain't hey. got no spells. You ain't got no enchantments. Your gems are shit. Your sh nice dis yeah, little boys. Hey, you know what? He's he not a creep. I actually, I, I think I might actually put him in the wrong category. He's funny. Yeah, he's cool. You know he's cool, and he's a man. He likes fun. Narnia a little, a little too much. He obviously likes Narnia. But yeah. he was spitting some bars. Yeah. It was pretty good. I don't like how he has flowers around his horns. <laughs> no. Like, yeah, he's, he, yeah, what's the horns for, huh? Is Rather, he the, the, worshiping the devil? He's a, he, I'm sure he'd be the talk of Boys Town. Talk of Boys Town. Me for a first date. So I met this person on Bumble. If you're Ooh. curious, here is my Bumble profile and some. See, once again, Neither this makes me skeptical. This makes me think this is a fucking ad for mm. Bumble, personally. But um, maybe not. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like, like if if this is Bumble showing you the kind of uh, yeah. people that they have on there. Yeah. <laughs> if if you are in marketing, is this your? I don't know if this would be my first go to. But hey, and then again, who are you marketing towards? You're right. You know, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Who's the people that use Bumble? I don't, so I wouldn't even I, be on there. I wouldn't know. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be on here looking to uh, for this fucking uh, pink haired pixie. I was um, gonna say yeah, pink haired elf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of the photos I selected to have on there, going with this fun mini skirt. I also added this horse sweater because we literally cannot hold hands. Bumble has a feature called interest badges and my date and I both love running. So we're going for a hike and what better earrings to wear for a hike. Added a few little hair bows. I was also able to see that my date loves baking. And so I'm going to go with this She's cookie. Thoughtful. Huh? thoughtful. I think I thought you were just going to say awful, which I agree with. Um, <laughs> but she is thoughtful, I guess. Thoughtful. She's wearing a. Uh, uh, pieces of a lettuce for after she be, uh, be, after she's mauled by a fucking bear, uh, something for the rabbits to just, to come behind the bear. Not, and not, on. not my cup of tea, but you know somebody out there. Hey, I would talk to her. I would be interested in her. Uh, I'm not saying it'd be my cup of tea or that it would go very far, but she and I'm sure this is what she's going for. She's intriguing in a way. You know, she'll she'll sit there and say, "Hey, you know what? I saw that he likes beef jerky." Uh, so I brought him a I have four pound bag earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I mean, true, true. And I mean, look, bag. she has oh, okay. leg warmers to stay warm and platform shoes because I love to catfish about my height. Vintage shoes. Sometimes I wonder though, what the fuck is? So she has her own fit? style, but it's fit? like, are you just literally throwing random shit? These are the final touch, and here is the final look for my Bumble date today. All right, so she steps off the bus on next. Next. You, oh, you're giving her the next right away. Okay. But I, know. I always think it's so important to be yourself, Again. especially on a first date. So sometimes be you just kind of make your Wish me luck. <laughs> Get ready with me for a. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I listen. I, I wouldn't want to waste her time. You know, she <laughs> oh, she, yeah, she, yeah. she deserves more than me. Oh, okay. okay you're yeah. just not enough. I'm just, just not, not enough for I'm a woman like enough. that. Okay. <laughs> um, again, there there's someone oh, out there for everyone, shit. and you know, I Hopefully. I love her being herself. That's that's authenticity at its finest. I do love that she felt comfortable to be herself. But I mean, to dress yourself yeah. is like. But I mean, again, it, some people love it. Are you it's pro? Artsy. Something I've been seeing a lot. Uh, on some of the, honestly on Instagram uh, is some people advocating bullying. How do you feel about that? 
just cool. kind of curious. Bullying, literally. So, like, if you click on a lady's, if like you click on her comments, I'm sure they're bullies. And no, people, well, not even that, but there'll be people that are like, bring bullying back. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is yeah, why we yeah, need bullying yeah, like, in school. Yeah. And shit like that. Like the guy in the fucking, like, Minotaur Man. You yeah. know, people in his comments, I'm sure, are like, what the fuck is going on? Somebody should have bullied the fucking uh, goat out of this guy. So, so, so the humorous side of me, yeah, understands that and it's funny. Okay. But then, but then the other side of me goes, "Hey, listen, I'm talking about legitimately. Am I might yeah, talking about no. I'm a funny." So, thing. so okay. legitimately, no. Okay. Again, what's the point? Why do they? You're only going to bully them because they're weird to you because they're not you. Well, okay. and they're different than you. So then, well, it's, hold on. Well, we so, gotta, so hold on. Well, we let's pick let, on them. I want to make sure that we're having a, a, a back and forth. Yeah. The you tell me. Well, I mean, it's just like <laughs> so the lady that's wearing the fucking lettuce earrings. That's not just like she's she's weird to you. Like I think that's almost like universally we can look at that and be yes. like, that's really odd. Now she's not she's not hurting anybody on one end, I exactly. guess. Um, Would I look at yeah. Lauren and be like, dude, what the fuck is that? Yes. Would you accept her for let us hear? <laughs> listen, listen, Lauren. Lauren would know. She would see her and then look at my face because she would know that like something something is coming out of my mouth. I'm gonna say something. Yeah, as a joke. Obviously, not to hurt to hurt her feelings, but we're maybe not to her. It, yeah. Oh, no. just too Lauren and her too, too Lauren. Behind, her, behind her back. <laughs> it sounds right. horrible, but again, <laughs> it's a lighthearted joke. That yeah, it's way nicer uh, yeah. to do that. Okay, <laughs> it's, but no, I don't think that, that you go out and ruin someone's day. Let them be them. Like, yeah. like again, like, and yeah, I, I again, that's just me personally. I was on the say about mm-hmm. fucking everything, so oh, it's yeah. like, yeah, I. But um, I don't have a problem with it. I, 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 I don't think that people should bully at all. I again, that's kind kind of like. Do you think you've uh, have you been bullied? Uh, yeah. Okay. So have you? Has there been any utility to it for you in your life? So I mean, obviously, it's not pleasant. No, I've been bullied as well. It was never pleasant. Me. Okay. Well, oh, well. So from my perspective, I can think of times that, um, through bullying, I think it's it's a certain level of like adversity there that has, um, been it's it's helped create character in a way you know like character development like i said i wouldn't i would never want that to happen to my daughter and make my fucking heartbreak if i saw my daughter being bullied so i don't think that it's on its face on its own a good thing but when if i'm if i'm looking at it critically and looking at these people's uh what they're saying and trying to uh, take it seriously um i could see that there is some like societal utility to it though um as far as like you know like with how people dress i mean that's one thing that's kind of silly um so teasing them for that but just as far as like certain behaviors i don't know i'm trying to think of like well, i don't know if somebody runs around and acts like a dinosaur like stepbrother style it, like should that person be bullied out of that behavior or no, should that be- behavior just, not be addressed and just let them act like a just dinosaur? just let them live in because okay okay so yeah. why would they be acting like a dinosaur there's there's clearly some some okay. disconnect from the consciousness of wanting to conform and be quote unquote normal right yeah. so obviously there's going to be something to that so again just just let them be there was a kid mark in in the high school that with naruto run and all that dude genius in math so he used to draw like like uh, pictures for girls okay. like uh these these two girls that were uh water girls for football team he would she would draw uh like dragon ball z them as dragon ball z characters or pokemon for them mm. stuff like that cool and really cool. Yeah. And then and you had people who would like grab them and like make fun, like grab the pictures, make fun of them for it. Like, cause why are you giving it to the girl? Like they're not gonna go for you. And it's kind of like, why does it fucking matter? Yeah. Like it, he's not bothering anybody. You obviously know she's not going to do anything. Like it's just him like yeah. like actually coming out of his shelf for once. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and that's kind of where like the anti-bullying thing is. It's like, hey man, let people be them, get out of their shell. You the, the, the cool crowd, which again, I was part of the popular kids, right? Like mm-hmm. We get to be ourselves. We get to be exactly who we are. Nobody really fucks with us. You're going to have like a little bit of bullying, like football wise. Like you're you're a freshman. You're going to get you're going to get hazed. Yeah. But um, as far as just like like making comments, like uh, like kind of like like poking fun. I mean, I think as a parent, you kind of should do that. So as a as for schooling, I think we probably would agree on this. A lot of what schooling has been to do is to prepare you for. Uh, like work really I mean more than anything like to prepare you to be a uh, person in society that contributes and like can work alongside people and shit Um, I think part of that and you know 
I like people's individuality, but like when we're talking about, uh, I don't think the drawing thing is necessarily the same because that's legitimately a skill. So, I mean, people were probably teasing him about that, not for any legitimate reason, because there isn't like, like it's, it's not because drawing's not practical in the normal world. It's because kids are probably like jealous of him, his skill at drawing or just want to be an asshole to him. But for example, him running around like a fucking Naruto character, maybe that could have been addressed a little bit because in normal society, yeah, you can't run around like if you're at work or if you're at uh, if you're just on the streets if somebody runs through like fucking naruto and bumps into me you're gonna get some actual real life static from like somebody like me maybe where i'm like <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you yeah. now all of a sudden you realize you're not in the hidden leaf village now all of a sudden <laughs> you're on the street and you're with a guy in fucking reality that in reality wants to choke you fucking to death. yeah well, well one there's you know, there's teachers okay faculty sure. okay so so there are adults so stop so them saying stop instead of bullying yeah you want them to say stop like, doing that like yeah or um I mean, yeah, I, I, again, it, it doesn't matter if he's running around. You have to bully and get their kids. So what the fuck does yeah. it matter? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, he's going to grow out of it. But again, like like I am Parker's harassment, I guess. Like I like poke fun at some things. Obviously, there's a fucking line. Yeah. You never wanted to like like kill his self-esteem. Yeah. But like dude, he's actually a really good dresser. Like he's standing dresses himself. It's really good. And it took a couple of times and put something on be, me being like, are you sure that's what you want to wear? Yeah. I'd be like, look, man. I mean, if you want to do that, then that's yeah. fine. Well, now, why not just let him wear whatever? Now, and I thought about that because yeah. I'm killing his like, like we must do. But it was just saying that, hey, like, man, that doesn't really match. If you want to match, you might want to change. If if not, if you don't care, then you don't care. Okay, question. You guys are going out for dinner. Uh, let's say he wants. So he wants to dress as Superman, and, uh, and it matches. At, at ten years old. Sure, ten. I guess. Sure. No. And again, so now, 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 if he has some kind of disability, I would. Well, what if he's twenty? I, I would again. If he, he has either. a disability, I'd no. Have what a if he doesn't have a disability? No. no then why? Again, I, it's the exact same thing we're talking well, about. I guess this twenty. Lady I guess twenty. I don't know. Okay. I guess twenty. I guess twenty. Do what you want, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like you're, you're an adult. Do that's what the fuck you want. If that's his individuality, yeah, like you you're want. saying. That but, uh, but yeah, I tell you, I'm like, dude, you need to put some clothes on. Like, we're going somewhere. And again, if he doesn't want to match, he doesn't want to match, and that's you. That's your. Like that's your thing, but it's like, you know, th there's time and place. You got to obviously teach common fucking sense sure. as a parent, but it's like, no, I do think that parents though, you should kind of pick on your kids a little bit, help toughen them, their skin. Because yeah, like you said, in the real world, you're going to have times where people test you. You're going to have yeah. times where people disrespect you. You're going to have to be able to, to deal with that. But as far as like, like a school standpoint, no, I don't think that people should just be like, Hey, listen, son, you go to school, you need to pick on these fucking kids because they need to be toughened up. It's yeah, like, I don't no, think stuff like that, but that's almost like kind of like it naturally happens in a way. You have kids who's comes from a family that.